Indian? Uh, maybe. You may have seen the convincing commercials. <laughs> featuring automatic emergency brakes, or AEBs, working flawlessly. To even be able to detect danger and stop itself. But Spotlight on America discovered some AEB systems may not work as well as you're led to believe. And in most cases, drivers can't count on the systems to consistently work. According to a study by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, AEBs reduce the likelihood of a pedestrian crash by 32% in the daylight. But in the dark, it found cars equipped with this system do no better than unequipped cars when it comes to protecting against a pedestrian crash. And that's something you won't hear in those impressive commercials. Spotlight on America was given rare access to the tests that prove it. Over and over and over again, vehicles outfitted with what's supposed to be life-saving technology failed to do their job. That's troubling information for Michael Brooks, the executive director of the Center for Auto Safety. That's one of the problems with a lot of these new technologies is the way they're advertised is kind of flash bang. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread. But in actuality, it works some of the time and it doesn't work other times. And we still have a long way to go before it's perfect if, it, if we ever get there. And in the meantime, pedestrian traffic fatalities are soaring to their highest level in 40 years. And three quarters of those crashes happen at night when drivers would likely need these safety systems the most. How urgent is it, given the increase in pedestrian deaths, that this equipment works and works at night? I think it's, it's absolutely critical. We need a baseline performance standard that sets the absolute lowest limit we're willing to accept for this safety performance. This year, Congress passed an infrastructure bill that requires all new cars to be equipped with automatic emergency braking systems. But how well the systems are required to work and under what conditions remains to be seen. That determination falls in the lap of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. Illinois Congresswoman Sherry Bustos helped pass that bill, and she will be watching what happens next. They save lives. We told her what we discovered when it comes to automatic emergency brakes in the dark. You are pointing out something that is really, really important for the consumer to know. So let's make sure that the public is informed of that with what they're buying. And it's time to push car manufacturers, she says, to ensure their entire fleet has the best technology. How do we incentivize manufacturers to all get to a consistent place where they're using, even across their own models, technology that works the best? I would be willing to take a look at incentivizing our manufacturers to say, let's get to this perfect product as soon as possible. And then you, you, know, you back up that with looking at hardcore legislation. Are there penalties if you don't get on board? Do we hit a certain date where we say, okay, you either get this right or you're, you're going to face some, some penalties. Spotlight on America asked NHTSA if they would require car companies to make sure their safety systems worked at night. They declined to comment and wouldn't agree to an interview, only to tell us that they were working expeditiously to meet the mandates of Congress. For Spotlight on America, I'm Lisa Fletcher.